A month-long saga comes to an end as Tesla CEO Elon Musk seemingly confirms media reports that he has taken control of Twitter. Reports started trickling in earlier this morning, saying that Musk finally completed his $44 billion takeover. And as the news continued to roll in, Musk responded with a tweet saying, quote, the bird is freed from his personal account. Reports also mentioned that Musk fired several top Twitter executives, including Chief Executive Parag Agrawal and Chief Financial Officer Ned Segal. And Musk has publicly criticized Twitter's outgoing management over product decisions and content moderation. Musk has not offered any details on any possible restructuring of the company. While Twitter's 7,500 employees are on edge, worried that they might be losing their jobs. And Musk previously refuted reports that he was looking to cut staff by 75%. Meanwhile, Musk is also reportedly planning to take over as CEO and is looking to reverse lifelong user bans on the platform. I think it'll be really, really interesting to see what happens to the user base. I mean, right now it's sort of a black box what the end, what will happen in the future simply because he has so many plans and now he is going to cut so much staff. So it's very unclear what will actually happen. I think we've seen in the past that Elon Musk has a, a, a strong notion towards freedom of speech. And while that's a great thing, his uh, interpretation of freedom of speech is not that well informed in terms of how practices and cultures emerge around Twitter itself. So while he might come in and say, we should have absolute freedom of speech on the platform, that's fine. But what that also will equate to is reintroducing or reinstating accounts that in the past have been deemed to be inappropriate. And that might include someone like President Trump um, and what that might, the impact that that might have on the, the sort of political conversations that emerge in that space could be quite significant. Well, the takeover's twists and turns resulted in a turbulent few months for Twitter shares. Musk took a 9.2% stake in the company on April the 4th to become the platform's biggest shareholder. He then announced on April the 14th that he is offering to buy the social media company for 54.20 a share. Well, the stock dipped slightly but surged two weeks later after the company announced it accepted the Tesla founder's bid. Well, Musk then backtracked on his proposal in July, prompting Twitter to take legal action to force the world's richest man to complete the deal. Finally, early this month, Musk revived his plan to take over the company, sending shares surging over 20%. Well, the social media platform's shares will be suspended from trading today, according to the New York Stock Exchange's website.